Hey friends, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Whiskey in the Jar as recorded by Thin Lizzy on guitar. Now for this lesson, I'm going to take you through a main guitar part through the whole thing. We're going to focus on that acoustic guitar that you hear through the entire song. I'm going to break it down for you step by step. But before we jump in, if you're new here, I've got a gift for you. I put together this awesome fretboard guide that's going to show you the five must-know chords and scales to play in any style anywhere on the neck. And I want to give it to you completely for free. All you got to do is go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide to grab your copy. And a lot of the shapes that we're going to use in today's lesson are on this page. So it's going to tie it right in with this song as well. So grab your copy. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide, or you can use the first link down below. All right, well, with that said, let's get into it. Let's break down how to play Whiskey in a Jar as recorded by Thin Lizzy on guitar. Now we're gonna start off right where the band comes in. We have these hits on beats three and four, and then we're into the intro chord progression. Here's what it sounds like. A one, two. All right, so we're using just a couple chords here, starting out on a G chord. Now it sounds like on the recording that these are played as bar chords, but you could, as an easier version, just substitute your open G chord. But here for this section, I'm playing a bar chord. So that's the third fret of the low E, then five, five, four, three, three. Now I'm gonna play that shape and then it moves nicely down just two frets to the F chord. We're gonna hit one strum on each like this. Then we'll go to E minor. E minor is just open position chord, all six strings, open, two, two, open, open, open. Now once we get to this E minor, we're gonna start our groove. And this is what we call an eighth note feel or an eighth note strumming pattern. We're just gonna go down, up, and do eight strums per bar like this. One and two and three and four and that's one bar. That's how I would count it. So we're gonna stay on that E minor for two bars and then we're gonna go back to G. G's gonna last for two bars. So it's gonna sound like this. One, two. Now the first time we're gonna repeat back. Do it again. Then we start the verse, and that's where the vocals come in as I was going over the Cork and Carry Mountains. Now here you could stay on this G bar chord, or for the verse, I might switch to just open position G. And for the verse, I'm gonna play this. is sort of the first half here. I'm playing two bars per chord. We're gonna start on G. One, two, three, four, two, two. Then go to E minor. From there, you could go to C, but what I played was a C with a G in the bass. It's a really strong sounding chord. It's a great chord. What I did was take that typical C chord and bring that ring finger up one string and then put the pinky on where the ring finger was. So it goes three, three, two, open, one, open. We'll stay on that chord for two bars, and we'll go back to G for two bars. Strumming, I'm gonna keep that same eighth note groove that we used for the intro going through all of this verse. It's gonna go. repeats. All 
All right, then we move to the second half of this verse. It goes like this. And we're back to a reintro, just like we played at the top. So for the second half here, brought in a new chord. It goes to a D chord. That's from the fourth string down, just open two, three, two. We're gonna play two bars of D, and I'll keep that same strumming going. One and two and three and four and two. Then we go to four bars of C over G. Again, if that C over G is too hard, just play C, but I'm using this one. Then we go back to G like the intro, and this is over the words whiskey in the jar. And we go. And we do the intro again. So this second half of the verse sounds like this. Oh, one, two, three, four. And we do the intro again. So let's put it all together. We're going to start with the intro. We're going to move to the verse, play through the whole thing, and then we'll go back to the intro and end on G. Here we go. One, two, a one, two, intro. Repeat. We don't do the walk down, here we go to the verse. So I was going over the Cork and Carry Mountains. Repeat that. So for this song, it's really just that intro progression and then the main verse progression that has that little refrain, whiskey in the jar. So rewind the video and go over any parts that are unclear and then try it out. Play it on your guitar. See if you can play it along with the recording. If you have to, slow the song down and work it out and just, it's gonna line right up, you know, if you play the parts that I'm saying for each section throughout the song. And to help you even more, be sure to pick up my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the fretboard. And this is so useful when you're trying to put together a system for learning the neck. Let me help you out and save you some time. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below as my gift to you. Next, I wanna hear from you. Leave a comment and let me know your number one biggest goal with guitar right now. Just comment it down below. As always, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an amazing day and we'll see you in another video real soon.